hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content we're going to talk about something interesting in today's video so let's say you've checked all the boxes as far as landing a job is concerned you dusted your cv cleaned up your linkedin you've done all that there's that one thing that can still make you stand out of the crowd so i'll say oh we've done all our cv we've done the linkedin we've done the mock interview what could that be hear me out before you shut me out so that thing is volunteering i'm sure someone will say oh I don't even have time for my regular life. I can never find space in my current schedule to volunteer somewhere. Actually, you do if you want to and if you want to create time for a course like that. So in today's video, I want to share with you five reasons why you should consider volunteering. The first thing is that it looks great on your CV. Have you ever had people complain about people doing good? I mean, volunteering your time for a course, helping someone. In fact, for many forward-thinking companies or companies of the future, embedded in their CSR or sustainability policies are giving employees time off, actually paid time off, so that they'll be able to volunteer for a course that the company believes in. So it has become a thing if you want to work in a multinational, it's a strong um, credential for you. If you are someone who volunteers, it looks nice on your CV, that's the truth. So there are two finalists for a particular role. They are all great culture-wise. They are all great technical fit-wise. So there's difficulty in making a pick. And then they decide to just can't look through again and they realize that mm, this person has done a lot of volunteering and this is what we believe in as a company we already know who gets the job then so the first reason is that it looks good on your cv so if you have time or you can spare some time look for a course it, it can be anything it can be gathering kids helping them to read or any other thing you can find to do it's great consider it the second reason is that it presents an opportunity to meet new people so i've done a video on networking and one of the things we found out in that video is that networking can be very nerve-wracking you know you have to go and meet all these new people and try to sound great and professional and all that but um there's less pressure in a volunteering situation so there you meet new people and because you are volunteering for a course you get to have genuine engaging conversations with these people and you never know when you might need them or they might need you so it's very important that you volunteer for courses having at the back of your mind that there are people i'm going to network with in an environment that doesn't give me so much pressure the third reason is that volunteering helps you to figure out your career goals it creates for you an unthreatening environment you know most workplaces are very high powered so you go you hit your desk and you are at it you know doing the same monotonous thing so over time you get good at it and you don't really have time to explore your passion and so when you volunteer for courses, it gives you a relaxed atmosphere to see what you're really good at and the things that you're really passionate about outside your regular work routine. We did a previous video about waiting to get a good response from your last interview or rejection emails and all that. Whilst you are at home not doing anything, you know, you look more attractive when you are already engaged in something to an employer rather than just sitting down and not doing anything. 
and so instead of sitting down you go for an interview and you have to explain why oh i resigned a year ago and i've just been home it doesn't sound great you come across as more powerful and strong a candidate if you can show us that over the course of the period you've not been doing work as we know it you've been volunteering somewhere for this or that course volunteering also helps you to refine new skills so there's something that you've you've never done before maybe you have to teach kids how to code for instance you are not a programmer or anything of the sort however in this opportunity you get to be trained so you can also train kids to code and then as you do you realize that i have a knack for this and i'm really good at it it can become something you actually do full time and are happy about you actually enjoy it and are very good at it or you can even build a side career out of your volunteering or the things that you found out when you started to volunteer so it's a way to help you hone skills that you didn't even know that you possess number five volunteering just makes you a more confident person one you've really expanded your network you know people from different places whom you didn't know before you have connections in almost every industry as you begin your journey volunteering you meet new people you are communicating talking every day you are not cut off from the world outside the things you do in your eight to five so it just helps you become a great and more confident communicator and we mentioned in previous videos how that is very critical in helping you excel in your career finally i would like to say this when you look around people need help around you there are small businesses all around us who need one business advice or another and you're a professional your last job was so awful you had to just walk away and you are currently home and in your company there are about what six small businesses that you see around you were an accountant or you were a marketer or whatever it is find out from people how you can be of help that might be your window to even landing your new opportunity you never know because people don't reject good things if you can demonstrate to them that hey i know this thing and this is how i can help you make more money or this is how i can help you become better i don't think there are people who turn that offer down especially if it's volunteering you don't even have to pay me you just unless you want to i'm not asking i'm not demanding that you pay me so they think you are doing them a favor but you are doing yourself a favor because that goes on to your cv so that there are no gaps in between the times you worked and the times you haven't and then you have to explain yourself you know you just spare yourself all that trouble so if you are home right now you are job searching applying for jobs is great but look around how can i be of help to people give people value we mentioned in another video that money goes where value is if you can show yourself to be valuable money will come hunting you down all things being equal we'll probably be doing a video where i'll have someone talk to us about how to land volunteering opportunities what we can do where we can find them and how to actually go and seek for such opportunities thank you so much for watching today's video i hope it was helpful if it was comments below let me see that like the video share and subscribe if you haven't done so yet this is really quality content we're putting out there and it's awesome if thousands of people can hear about this so please don't watch this video and just leave a like in there share it and ask people to subscribe thank you so much and see you in the next video